True Blue's Brendan Hartigan reports on the Cougars receiving core. 2010 wasn't a great year for BYU receivers. We started off slow. BYU only accounted for 2,579 yards in the air, which is its lowest total of the century. Luckily, the Cougars saw major improvements in the passing game in a 5-1 finish, which included 14 of the team's 17 touchdown receptions. We started concentrating more and working harder, and towards the end of the season, we finished off a lot better than we started. I think we improved over the season. I think it was more of a collective effort as a team. You know, we really started to play for each other, and you know, we learned a lot last year, and you know, we're looking forward to, to applying the things we learned and you know, just getting better out here. Eight of Jake Heaps' top nine targets will be back in 2011, but the coaching staff has had a major makeover. Even though this offensive unit had its up and downs in the past year, they certainly seem confident they can leave 2010 behind them. I, and frankly, I'm not concerned about it. I'm, I'm more concerned about what, what we've got ahead of us and trying to maximize potential. And like I said, we've got work to do. The team will need to replace Luke Ashworth. He grabbed seven of Heaps' 15 touchdown passes last year, but the Cougars do have a nice trio of receivers who should be able to carry the load in 2011. Well, it's a mixed bag. I mean, you got McKay with a lot of experience, and um, you know those two young guys with Cody Hoffman and Ross Aplo that, that, that are young, big, tall, twin tower type guys with, with those two. So it, it's a great compliment. Cody Hoffman became one of Heaps' favorite targets in 2010. He, like Ashworth, had seven touchdown receptions, but he also led all receivers with 527 yards. McKay Jacobson returns for his senior season. He had his worst year statistically in receiving yards and touchdown receptions as a Cougar, but he's working hard to have a big 2011. And, uh, you know, just putting the things together, just trying to, you know, be consistent. I think, uh, you know, that's a big key. Ross Oppo should make a splash after he suffered a season-ending finger injury last year. His teammates and coaches are excited to see what he's capable of doing this fall. He's a for-sure receiver. Uh, anything thrown to him, he'll more than likely come down with it. It's based on his athleticism. The Cougars have a rich tradition of dominant tight ends, but in 2010 there wasn't a clear standout. The tight ends never found their way into the end zone last season, but look for Richard Wilson, Mike Muehlman, Devin Mahina, and Austin Holt to bring a little glamour back to the position. This year, I mean, we were young, so we were a lot of inexperienced players were playing, but this year is going to be a big difference. Um, we're not going to drop the ball as much as we did last year, so this is going to be a huge improvement on that. The season opener against Old Miss is still five months away, but the Cougars are still excited about being able to air it out right now. Well, I think we're going to see, you know, good old-fashioned BYU football. You know, going independent, all, all those things factored in. I think, uh, you know, if, if we reach our potential, I think, uh, you know, we can, we can have a real good team. Brendan Hartigan, True Blue.